attention to something that happened here last year. Last year in Ireland, a death threat was issued by two Sinn Féin, very well known, pro-abortion, TD and MLA, calling for the bloody scourge of abortion to be unleashed in, our, in the north of Ireland. Today, I want to say, and I want you to join me as we say together, the North is not next. 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 And we say today, the North protects. The North protects its most vulnerable citizens. And the North is the only part of Ireland and it's the only part of the UK which is safe for little baby boys and girls. <laughs> Following this death threat, these two bloody thirsty women made their way to Westminster to make a plea to a number of British MPs to do their dirty work. That plea was to force abortion right up to the moment of birth in Northern Ireland by a government that this party doesn't even acknowledge nor recognise. The word that comes to the forefront of my mind is hypocrites, hypocrisy, how dare how dare these women who call themselves leaders in, the, in a Catholic Ireland go to Westminster and plea with British MPs to bring in British abortionists to kill Irish children. Hypocrites! But we are here today and we are the fighting Irish. We are the fighting Irish. children of Ireland North and South and while we are still heartbroken about the tragic result of the Irish abortion referendum and while I stand here with a heavy heart knowing that where we lay our feet today in Ireland babies lives are being snuffed out babies lives are being flushed down toilets and disregarded as rubbish so it is with a heavy heart that I stand here, but it's also with a fighting spirit that we will not take this lying down, that we are here today to regroup, and it's time to throw off the apathy and despair that the enemies of the life, the enemies of life have sown throughout this land. And I know that many people are still in shock and badly affected since we lost the battle last May. But that doesn't mean that we're taking it lying down. That doesn't mean we're going to roll over. That doesn't mean the war is over. In fact, the war has just begun. And we won't lose. We will only lose if we give up. If we do nothing, we will lose. But I know that you people here today are not giving up. You have re you have reorganized yourself. You have come back fighting. And we must continue to fight, to continue to fight until every single, every single little boy and girl in their mother's womb is protected from the terrible scourge and horror and evil of abortion. Today in Dublin, we declare that we are a voice of those who have no voice that we are the voice of the most weakest of the weak, that we are the voice of the babies who, if they could speak, would cry out to us, please, please don't give up. Please stay strong. Please work harder. Please replace the anti-life and anti-baby politicians in your government who have enacted laws that threaten us daily with murder. 
please continue to be our voice. And today after this event, I will, with others, make my way to Hollow Street Hospital to pray, to join a rosary procession, because without prayer, we are destined to lose. But with prayer and God on our side, we will turn Ireland back to life. It has been nearly 23 years since I became aware of the horror of abortion. But I knew the moment that I looked into the face of an image of a little baby who had been mutilated and whose little life was brutally ended by an evil abortionist, that my life was never going to be the same. And I decided there and then to commit my life to stopping and ending the murder of my little brothers and sisters in the womb. And I know that many people here today feel the same as I do. At that moment, I heard the silent scream of that little boy who spoke to me in that image. And it was like his face was pleading with me to do something. And I did. And I formed Precious Life. And we are gathered here today with many people like me. Many people. You are people of great integrity. You are people of hope. And people who are willing to stand up and fight and support and stand with these little babies even if it means to give your life for this great cause. And after 23 years, the horrors that are being exposed to this world must make us lose sleep. But they also must make us become more steadfast. 66 little babies Little baby boys and girls were born alive in British hospitals and left to die crying where no one heard their voice. 66 little babies that no one cared about because the British government stands by the death of over 200,000 little babies they stand by their death and they have blood on their hands. But we don't have blood on our hands because we are fighting. We are fighting back and we will continue to fight back. So we will regroup today and we will rise united. And we will save these babies from the horror of abortion. And we will turn this horrible, rotten government back to life. And we will enact laws for our future that will protect and cherish every single little baby boy and girl. This Fight Back campaign will be written in future history books. A fight back campaign that will not rest until we see the end of this bloody holocaust that claims the lives of over 55 million little babies every year throughout the world. So we're not on our own. We are part of a worldwide movement that loves those little babies, that hears their cries day in and day out. Today and every day, we will show the world that Ireland is fighting back and that we haven't gone away and that we're not giving up. So I say today, as I finish, the battle isn't over until every unborn child, north and south, is protected. And we see the murder and the bloody murder of innocent children in the same way history has showed us slavery and how we ended slavery in the Holocaust. And every generation in this generation will work and we will pray and we will live and we ask God that we will see the end of abortion in Ireland in our lifetime. So I end today with a challenge to every 
everyone. We need to pray big, we need to think big, and we need to believe big. Today, we will declare that God Almighty is bigger than the battle. And with him on our side, we will win the war against the little ones, against the major forces that want to unleash blood on our streets. And we will bring Ireland back to life. And the people of Ireland said, Amen. Amen. Amen.